Everyone, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing good. Welcome to Heavy Duty Country. If you're new, we have a lot of fun here. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. Today, it's gonna be an interesting thing because look, we all love the Second Amendment and there are some people out there who are huge Sig Sauer fans. And then there are people out there who swear by Glocks. And if there's anything to do with a Sig, they treat it like it's the devil, which is fine. We're all free to make our own choices. The other day, I'm sure you've heard of this, it's making its rounds. I haven't seen a clear breakdown on it, so I'm doing one today. Let me tell you, um, we didn't miss anything. A police officer at the Montville Police Department had a negligent discharge or was just another lucky person who owns a SIG and it just went off on its own. Like, uh, I don't know, a premature ejaculator. I mean, that's pretty much the only thing we can compare it to at this point with SIG. So let's start with the video and look, I'm gonna just put this disclaimer out there right now. I am not for the police department and I am not for SIG Sauer. I am for the truth of what happened because that's where morals come in and that's where you just being a good company or a good police department comes in. So that's what we're here trying to figure out today with the information and the evidence that we have. Now look guys, while we're talking about guns and holsters, a big thanks to LAS Concealment for sponsoring today's video. This is the one that I have for my Glock 45 with the X300 on it. Retention is amazing. As we all know, especially on this video, it is extremely important to have a safe housing for your weapon. This is the other one I have for them. This is for my Glock 19, no light. I usually carry this one during the day but these are currently used with special forces overseas. And yes, they are also used in movies as well. They are that great. Ooh, a piece of candy. 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 So we're putting a link below the video. Go grab you one of the best holsters out there. So the video starts off with some kid being arrested. I'm not really sure what's going on, but uh, it seems like they're having a little bit of an issue. And I think that issue is maybe the person who they arrested forgot how to use their legs. Because this group of police officers decide to just walk this guy into jail. Like he's handcuffed. He, if he runs, you, you can get him. Anyway, so this kid who they're carrying into jail does a, a kick or something and this dude's gun goes off. We can see a part of the rug it looks like fly over next to the guy in the corner. I'm sure they're gonna have to replace that tile. And two of the dudes in there are like, oh my God, what, what happened? Are we okay? And everyone's looking down just curious as to what happened. So now we get into Sig Sauer's statement on the thing, because once again, this has gone viral on the internet. And uh, Sig Sauer's response, I'll just, I'll just get into it. We are confident, as is the case in all instances, that when the factors and evidence are reviewed, this will be proven to be an unintentional discharge as a result of inadvertent contact with the trigger, and that the pistol did not fire without a trigger pull. Now, here's a little backstory on SIG. SIG came out with a P320. Yes, I own a SIG and I, I might trash them all afterwards. You're welcome, ATF, even though I'm not doing it for you. Just so everyone knows while we're watching this, this is cleared and safe. But they had a problem with one of the models that they came out with on the P320. And yes, it did discharge on its own. At least that's what I've seen on the interwebs. So we figured the only way to do this and find out for ourselves is to find out for ourselves. Two. I heard a loud bang and I felt a searing hot pain in my right thigh. We found in our testing that the P320 will fire if it is dropped at a certain angle. This angle is not found in any of the previously mentioned drop tests. So anyways, they came out with the whole big thing and they said they had fixed the internals on the P320 and that this would essentially never happen again unless it's user error. So obviously they did this to get their sales back up as well as just put any safety concerns to bed. So something like this happening after 
they fix the gun or, or fixed the gun, it's a huge problem for them. So I don't know who investigated this, but it wasn't good. Let's take a look at what they actually said happened here. They're saying that the pistol is not fully seated in the holster and not secured by the retention hood. Excuse me? A baking powder? If you look at the reflection from the light, there is definitely something over the gun. So this next part is where Sig lost me and where now I think everything they're saying is complete BS. No credibility. The next picture, they say, holster retention hood not fully closed over the pistol. Could try, guys, but no. So for those of you who don't know, this is a Safari Land holster, probably a very similar model to what this officer was using, except he's got the ALS guard on there, as well as the retention hood that goes over the back. See what I have on the front there? It's a tourniquet. A lot of police officers have a setup like this to where it's your holster and you have a tourniquet on the front because what they've learned over the years is that if you're shot in an arm or both arms maybe, you're not gonna be able to reach back and grab one from back here. So you need one in front. That's the main reason why these were developed. So what they're saying on here is that this is the holster retention, the strap for the tourniquet. What did the person who wrote up this thing for SIG just do a line of coke before? Oh, uh, what is that? That's the retention thing. No, you can clearly see it in the other picture. That's his tourniquet strap. It's a time strap. Then the next picture they had, it's pistol not fully seated in the holster and not secured by the retention hood. Once again, their arrow points to Nothing, it points to the wall. But if we wanna to go to the closest thing, it's the tourniquet holder and the tourniquet. But for Sig's sake, let's just say that it wasn't all the way secure. If you've got a gun out, clear safe. So if you've got a gun out, you're in a police department with partners and everyone else out, and you've got it sitting like this, do you think somebody's gonna say something? Or are they like, oh no, dude, it's it's cool, man. I mean, he's, he's hanging out, you know? He smoked a joint in the parking lot earlier, and I don't know, I mean, it looks cool to me. No, not even close. They're gonna be like, hey dude, one, your hood's off. Two, your gun is barely in your holster. Now, before I get into the next part, this is obviously a Glock, thank God. I can't fit the P320 into this. I don't know what to tell you ladies, some of them just don't fit, but we're gonna use the Glock for this example. So let's be a little more realistic. Let's say it went all the way in, but it didn't click. So like right there. The trigger is still protected. Yes, you can see it, but it's protected. Unless you got a pencil and you're like going up next to officers and just like, doing one of these inside of their holster, you're not getting it to fire, especially if somebody kicks it. How is a shoe going to get into there? There's no possible way. I think my conclusion is that SIG is full of it right now. They just don't wanna lose a ton of business. They wanna blame it on, you know, I guess user error. From what I can see from this video, there's none. And I'm not really sure how SIG is putting the stuff that they put together one with the video quality and being able to talk so definitively about it. It's like, no, it's holster. It, it wasn't all the way in there. So in my opinion, I've lost a little bit of respect for SIG on this. Thank God no one was hurt. But I have to ask, if someone was hurt, someone was shot in the leg, if someone died, would the response have been the same? If not, shows a lot to everyone. <laughs>